the British R R armored car from 1914 to 1920. So World War One to early World War Two. Um, this one on the box art is from Egypt from World War Two. It was used in World War Two for coastal defence and patrolling air bases and protection of air bases and stuff. So this one is, let's say, in Egypt, the desert one. One thirty-five scale by Ming. It's their wrapped edition. Um, you have the uh, World War One version, which has the uh, spoke wheels, and you see on the box art, World War Two version has the solid wheels and rubber tires and stuff. But the uh, World War One version has plastic tires, and they're a little bit skinnier. Uh, so QR code for the uh, companies. Uh, some colours required. Um, the colours they are calling out for AK. Um, so if you don't use AK, you're gonna have to do references. So this one on the box art here is a Western front, uh, World War One, um, 1914, 1916. Um, this one kit number VS010. Uh, there's another uh, one for Egypt, 1942, uh, RAF, Egypt. Um, so this one, that's how you get a nice box art. Lift it up. You get your worksheet. And colours. And four sprues in your hole. I say the rubber wheels and plastic wheels. So we're going to take a look at this closer. So you greeted with your manual. Um, appearance of a little bit of information on the kit. Uh, different languages. It's a nice pull-out page. You've got tools that are required for the kit. Um, how to use them, but we all know know how to use this. Um, so you've got three. Sorry, four options up the top, A, B, C, and D. So be careful, there might be slight variances, like I mentioned, with the wheels. Um, C and D have got extra machine gun on the top. These ones haven't. So just be aware. You start off with the uh, undercarriage, it's a chassis, um, exhaust system, and I'm gonna call it the two color callouts. I'm gonna have to verify what they are. I think the undercarriage is black, probably. And then it's on the suspension. Um, looks like gearbox and drivetrain and transmission and stuff, whatever. And you got your upper superstructure of the armoured car. Putting the back doors on, front grille, which is here. Slipping it over, putting in the wooden flooring. Uh, bottom superstructure of the floor, sandwich it all together. And then you got. The back deck, yep, which is a little uh, area for um, cargo and stuff, probably, and ammo boxes, maybe, or whatever. But that again, that's like in a real vehicle, it's wood, so you're gonna have to paint it up in wood texture and grain and whatever. Um, another storage box, hanging racks. Uh, Again, you've got the fenders, ammo boxes, more storage, storage going on again, not too sure what these square pieces are. Going to the front of the vehicle, you've got your armoured cover to go over the uh, driver, um, the, the hinges for the um, <coughs> engine deck, or of the vehicle but obviously it doesn't open unfortunately you've got some tow hooks and stuff going on the front of the vehicle you can have it open or closed to do with the dust and stuff because it's been in the desert uh, for yeah radiator air covers fenders you have another type of grills on the front again so this one's for A, B and C version. This one's for the C version only, which is in the desert. All your headlamps going in. Um, you've got this piece here, I'm not quite sure what that is. 
some more headlamps as well slight variances again on the headlamps this is for a and b this is for d and c version so there's slight variances this one's got extra looks like fuel cans early fuel cans on the side and more storage but this one hasn't actually these are the running boards on the side of the vehicle steps so it goes on to the world war one wheels which are the uh spoke wheels which are done in photo etch and they've got skinny wheels so you'd be sandwiching it all together in the sections or you can do the world war one wheels uh world war two wheels which are the solid piece with rubber um i'll probably do the world war two version because it's got a uh decent camouflage and it's more colors the world war one version is just gray and stuff and it's boring to, in my opinion if i can get another kit then i might do it do two of them but as i say i don't know yet uh and then you're working on the turret uh and you've got your vickers machine gun inside this is for the a and b version this d and c version again slight variance on the turret also it's got a, another machine gun or gun of some sort not sure what that is putting up on top the uh, another Vickers machine gun I think that is on top so quite armoured dropping down your turret it should be a completely model by then yeah and then you've got your sprue map colours This is your World War One version, the grey one. It's really boring and grey. Reminds me of a German grey version of their early vehicles, boring. Or well, you've got this nice camouflage version of, from 1914. Um, that may, might be alright to do actually. Well, you've got the Egypt one. 1942, so early World War One. Ah, uh, sorry, World War Two. Which looks like desert, uh, pastel green and dark green. Oh, you've got this one here, which is the RAF 1920s. So this is way after the war. No, no, it's not after the war. This is early. Early, 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 still early actually. Uh, all desert, but then you've got this giant bullseye on top, which is pretty cool. But um, bit of a target for uh, airplanes. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at the sprues now in no typical order. I'll just go from the top. They've done their bags with like Tamiya with their staples. So we've got this nice sprue here. There's one of the machine guns or guns. The doors with the bolts on it. Nice detail. One of the storage boxes and other storage boxes we have to put together. The Vickers machine guns. Parts of the turret. There's the lower floor. There's the uh, inside of the floor, which is that wood. Excuse me, outside of the turret. Uh, the bolts again, nicely detailed. Part of the uh, back. There's those doors in the front of the vehicle, covering the radiator. You've got these detail parts, it's probably to do with the elevation of the guns inside.
We have this nice sprue again. This one's got the uh, um, this one has this chassis of the vehicle. So again, nicely detailed. The fenders. There's one of those spare wheels, I think that is. That's the World War II wheels, solid piece ones. Looks like part of the suspension. Some fine detail parts. Transmission casing, I think that is. Part of the uh, lower floor, looks like the gearbox or something, or maybe transmission, I don't know. Those early jerry cans, or fuel cans of some sort. Uh, there's your radiator, grill, jetting pins on the inside hopefully so you shouldn't see any of these. Um, yeah, exhaust system down the bottom. And this contains the uh, World War One wheels, which are the plastic, and they were just skinny. Get two identical sprues. So again, oh, there's the uh, lights, insides, the wheels. These are the World War One, sorry, World War Two hubs. These are the World War One wheels. So there's the insides, which the Fadowitz spokes are going to, and then these the outer rubber wheels. Again, they're uh, Molded it. These ones are molded as one piece, but these are molded as two piece. Strangely enough, um, rough idea of what the tread looks like. Some spare parts, those hanging brackets, some kind of storage boxes again. In here is your Fadowich spoke wheels. You have to be careful doing these. I don't know if they give you any spares just in case you end up snapping the spokes, but I don't I doubt it very much, so you really have to be careful with this. There's those decals. The nice bullseye. Bit of a target. In here we've got some clear lenses, not a lot to say about that. So here's the uh, upper superstructure of the armoured car. Nicely moulded, it's not a very big vehicle, 135 scale, um, but yeah it should be nicely, it should come out right. Um, the Tank Museum at Bod Bobbington have got one of these in their collection, which is green, um, if you've ever been down here. They have good history on their vehicles and stuff, so if you ever check their videos out, um, the tank chats and stuff they call it. Poly caps, probably for your wheels. This is part of your turret system. Um, so this will be going up here. I'm 
I'm sure it's no, that would be the back of it. The back of your turret. These are the rubber wheels, got a nice tread pattern on them. So again, they're nicely done. You get um, six in total. You need Is there two spare wheels on this vehicle? I can't remember. Yeah, there is there's two spare wheels as well. That's why. So there you go, folks. There's another kit from Ming. Y535 scale British armoured car. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you later.